Okay, so hi everybody and welcome back to another very cool tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we will practice a little bit. So if you haven't watched the first part of this series, then please go out and check this because now we will go into the real workflow and play around with some cool stuff. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little scene that I prepared and you can download this on my Google Drive account. And the only thing that you have to import is this background image here. It's from Paxels.com. It's this one, thanks to Pixabay. And I will provide a link in the description so you can download this as well as you like. But you can take any other picture with a dark sky. Doesn't matter. Okay, so and now we want to import green screen footage. But for those of you out there who are not are able to produce a green screen footage themselves yet, uh, no problem. I provided some cool stuff. And the footage for today's tutorial is from Red Giant. As some of you might remember, about five years back they had some sort of a green screen warriors competition. Please check out their cool cheap tricks episode with Hoshi and Seth. And the footage of this content is still available, so you can download this for free. And for this very topic uh, I choose this video here. It's called Captain Fight Hood number three. And if we take a look at this, it's a slow motion clip in full HD and two guys are just having a sword fight and then this guy is hitting the other guy in the face. So this is kind of like the basis for our tutorial. And what I did for you is I just uh, use this and just uh, get rid of all the green screen stuff and import this into Switchlight. And now we can use this sequence and play around with this in our newly created scene. Uh, the assets, as you can see here, is from uh, Polyhaven. It's a free kit, which is called the Modular Ford 01. And because Polyhaven uses CC0 licenses, we can use this as well, thanks to this awesome platform. Uh, so I downloaded this in a 2K version and put it into this Blender file. So the only thing that you will need to download is this Pixabay background sky. Other than that, we can use our switch light sequence that I've provided for you. And we can use, for example, our switch light studio and bring this into Blender. But you can use the normal PBR workflow and the Node Wrangler add-on as well to set this one up. But I like to use it this way because the add-on will do some cool stuff to a few maps, for example, the specular map, and I will lead to better results. So we can search for our PBR directory like we would do in part one of this tutorial series. So wherever you save this one on your desktop or your PC, on your Mac, uh, just search for the directory, in this case, uh, until you see these six maps. So the albedo, the key, the normal, the occlusion, roughness, and specular map. Hit on exact, and then we can load in our PBR sequence. And the add-on will do the job for us. So it will import the image as an image sequence, and it will give us a camera and a point light to play around. And if we take a look at this, and if we now play around with our point light, you can see that we have a nice switch light effect going on. As you can see, the quality is not the best, and this is because it was not well lit in the green screen, and it is full HD, and there is a lot of motion blur going on, so some of the footage is a little bit blurry but we can, for example, bring down the intensity of our point light and you get a little bit more information. Other than that, if you try to do this on your own, I would highly recommend to shoot in 4K or 6K, whatever is possible for your production setting and then bring down the quality later on because as you can see, we will have some nasty artifacts and a little bit of very soft or sometimes blurry footage if we just record this in a very low resolution. So. If you can, try to record all of your green screen stuff in 4K and we can later bring this down in Full HD. But you will get better outputs uh, if you start with a better resolution early on in the process. Okay, uh, so this is our sequence. And the reason why I just imported this into a new Blender scene is because sometimes there is a bug and this is going to happen when you already imported some switch light planes into your already existing scene. And once you try to re-import some new elements and hit on load PBR sequence, this is going to happen. And the program is telling you that the list index is out of range. And as you can see, the length of your animation is going to be zeroed out. So start frame is zero and end frame is zero too. And I have no idea why this is happening. Uh, so I will reach out to Switch Lite and ask for help. But if this is going to happen to you too, no problem, open up a second Blender file and then just copy your switch light plane from the newly opened Blender version and import this into your scene. And then we can copy our camera and our plane 
in this case copy the objects and then paste them into your new scene just in case you run into the same problem as I do. Okay and then we can just take a look through the camera and maybe we'll open up a second window and we can close everything down uh, so we can really see what's going on. I recommend to work inside of the camera with the Passport 2. So if we just open up the viewport display inside of our camera settings, we can bring this Passport 2 value up to one. So we are not distracted by the surroundings of our camera images and we can only see what's going on inside the camera. And then we can open up our normal 3D viewport in the second window and start creating our scene. Uh, in this case, maybe I'll bring this back a little bit and bring this up a little bit. Maybe we can bring our sky a little bit more in the background. So something like that. And then we just need to have some sort of base where our soldiers can start to fight on. And this is really the beginning of something cool because here you can really start doing your stuff, building your world and just try to position your soldiers in an interesting setting. And this is really fun because here I can really focus on world building without the need for any modeling or texturing stuff. So I can just really take the uh, existing assets and really throw them around in 3D space and see whether it looks good or not. And the first thing that you have to keep in mind, like I was telling you already in the first tutorial, is that we need to set up our image plane correctly because in this very case our shadow is not correct. So we need some contact shadows and at the moment our contact shadow is being produced by our rectangle. Uh, so we need to set this one up. So go into the material settings inside of our material properties and then all the way down to our settings and then change the shadow mode for an opaque to alpha clip for example. And now we should have the correct shadows for our soldiers. Uh, maybe if we bring our floor a little bit into the foreground you can see what's going on and then really start to work your way through all of this and just place some assets in the background and really try to be creative and do your stuff. Okay, so I will speed things up a little bit because uh, this is a task that you can totally do on your own. And in the beginning, there's no right or wrong. Really test out ideas and really no pressure. It happens to me every time. I need to have like 20 to 30 minutes and play around with the assets and throw them around in 3D space until I get an idea that is kind of like catchy and then I will start to build up on that. So pretty early in the process I try to create depth, for example by positioning assets in the foreground, uh, but other than that there's really no intuitive workflow that I can really share with you. Every scene is different and it really depends on the footage. So really like the only idea that I had in mind pretty early was that these soldiers are fighting in a castle and there's uh, maybe some fire going on and maybe some uh, thunder or lightning in the background. So this is kind of like an epic scene and then a little bit of camera movement here and there because the footage is in slow motion. So things look a little bit more dynamic when everything is in motion. The camera, the people and of course some uh, weather elements uh, and this really creates visual interest, hopefully. And sometimes there is a happy incident, for example, like the shadows on the wall that really creates interest because of the silhouettes. And this really opens up a new layer inside of the image that is interesting. Okay, so as you can see, I've just placed randomly some asset throughout the shot. I'm pretty sure you will do a much better job than I do, but I just try to create some sort of interest, some sort of color variance and contrast. And just try to create a dynamic shot. But as you can see, this is Eevee and this is looking a little bit flat. Uh, so let's try to get this a little bit more interesting. And the first thing that you can do is you can use, for example, your camera. And first of all, just check the depth of field option. So we can create a little bit more visual interest by using depth of field. And we can search for the sweet spot where our two actors are in the focus somewhere around here. And what you can also do, uh, we can play around with the f-stop so we can decide how dense we want our shallow depth of field. And we can play around with the blades and we can play around with the ratio. All that kind of stuff to create visual interest. But we can do much more than that. And what we can do, for example, is we can animate our camera. So uh, let's say our camera should end up somewhere around here. So we can use the I key to create a keyframe. 
and then we can start our camera for example maybe somewhere around here and we can start our camera animation at around frame minus one or something like that uh, first of all our focus should be here on our soldiers and maybe here on our wall okay so play around with the focus until the stones in the foreground are sharp and then we can animate the focus distance and then for example create an interesting camera movement from left to right something like that and what we can also do is we can create some sort of fog or dust elements so we have a little bit more of a breakup in the light so the light gets a little bit more diffused uh, and the simplest way would be to use our shade editor going to world settings and then for example just try to import a volume scatter which we can then plug into our volume socket and now we don't see anything else left and we can bring down the density for example to 0 0.5 and we can play around with the anisotropy just to control how much fog we want in the foreground in the background so just a little bit of ambience going on and this way we've created a little bit more visual interest okay so this is starting to look a little bit more interesting and what we can also do so that our camera once it just stopped is not that static uh, we can use the camera shakeify add-on which is free and we can just import some cool looking preset for example the wedding and this way we've created kind of like imperfection inside of our camera movement and this will lead to more interesting results so yeah Maybe something like that is interesting. And as you can see, it's all in real time. So this is the power of EV. Uh, so once again, I'm using the old EV version because uh, I just want to have some really fast render times. So my point would be, you can create amazing stuff, even though EV is not as powerful as Cycles. But if you just keep track on different settings inside of Blender, that will help you to create a better image. And actually the rest of the shot is just a little bit of compositing. So I create some foreground sparks and a little bit of heat distortion. But other than that, everything else was done inside of Blender with a render time of seven seconds for each frame. So a pretty, pretty powerful technique. Okay, so thanks for watching and we will see us in part three of this series where we will talk about movement and switch light.